Hi, I'm Alex, this is Libby Arts, and a little bit of late night rambling. If you've been around long enough, you probably remember a project called Glimpse, which originally was an attempt to create a fork of GIMP for name change, and then an attempt to create a new image editor with a cleaner user interface. This is in fact one of the mockups that they came up with, and I vividly remember that when I first saw this, I thought there is no way this is going to work. And the reason for that is because in GIMP there is a huge amount of complexity built into menus and nested menus. And it is very difficult to represent all this complexity in an application that looks like this. One possible solution to do that in header bars and GDK3 apps is building this kind of drop down menu like in serial, but as you can see, this is not very convenient, because when you go to a nested menu in one part of the screen, it opens in an entirely different part of the screen. So you do all these movements around the screen, hunting and picking menu items. So it's not really great. I think we could do it better. And one possible solution is coming from a new application called Dune 3D. It's a 3D CAD program. Uh, built on top of Open Cascade kernel and source space uh, constraint solver, so all the usual suspects. The developer is the same guy who came up with Horizon EDA, which is a GTK3 based electronic design automation package. The project is very, very new. The initial code import into GitHub was made two weeks ago, as you can see. So not a lot of people know about this project yet, but that is beside the point. The interesting part here is when you first look at this, you can't help yourself wondering where is all the functionality. So space for menu, let's press space. And there we go. This is really, really great because you get the search bar for when you know what you're looking for, when you know the terminology, when you understand what you need. And you also get this kind of menu when you need to navigate into the unknown. So this is a very interesting solution that could be iterated upon, at least in my opinion. Another interesting thing here is that when you do something like drawing a line, for example, you get these nice visual hints here. The idea is coming from Blender, obviously, and it would make a lot of sense to use this in applications like GIMP. And here's a good reason why. When you are coming from an application like Photoshop, you are used to a different set of modifiers for working with selections. So you create a selection, you need to add to that, and you need to press Shift in GIMP, but it's Ctrl in Photoshop. And a lot of people that I've met who come from Photoshop don't really know that. And the only way they can find that out is by reading a tutorial or a user manual or maybe watching a YouTube video. And the same applies, for example, to moving selection because in GIMP you need to press Ctrl, Alt and then drag to move the contents of the selection, which is not how people expect this to work. And again, the only way they can find this out is by watching a tutorial or reading the user manual. So that's another thing that I think would make sense to sort of backport from Dune to GIMP in the GTK3 based version. So I'm really hoping that at least this will be considered by the developers. The redesign thing is complicated and trying to redesign GIMP this much is obviously a huge effort or would be a huge effort if the developers would ever decide to do that. But I'm really interested in your opinion. Do you think this kind of menu is a possible solution for this? Please let me know in the comments and I'll see you in the next video.